the breakdown. Fission by Dead Poet Society. This is the Boston, Massachusetts Outfits second studio album arriving the 26th of January via Spine Farm Records. Fission consists of 13 tracks and is the follow-up to 2021's exclamation point LP. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, no, that's correct. That's an exclamation point. It. You're right. Um, 13 tracks on this one. Describe for me Dead Poet Society's sound. Oh, God. Because I feel like we haven't really discussed this band on the show. It's like alternative rock with like a little bit of edge. With like a little bit of flavor. It's got a little bit of that L.A. edge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is crazy for a Boston band. Um, <laughs> well, it's funny. Look at like L.A. Queen. There's definitely moments where they mention like Anaheim and stuff like that. It did throw me when you said this band was from Boston. I it was fucked like, me up when I no, saw it. No, they're not. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> How do I not know them? How have I not heard of them before? Uh, I have listened to this band prior, by the way. I did. I, I never checked out uh, Exclamation Point, but I did hear like a single or two. Uh, enough to put this band on my radar and make me want to check Fission out at the top of this year. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad I did because I was uh, incredibly happy with this. Yeah, surprisingly so. I think that... Mm. There's a couple different versions of this band on this record. And until you get to like the three quarter way, like you don't really realize how much you appreciate all of them. Yeah, definitely. It's almost like you think you have this band figured out and then they change it up a little bit and it makes things 10 times more interesting than you ever thought they would be. S speaking to that, I, I could have sworn I'd, I had my mind, my head wrapped around like the first head wrapped around this band after like the first three tracks and then you hear like the next four or five and it's like that, that doesn't really sound like the band i just listened to i think uh and you're uh, constantly just like chasing it trying to figure out ex like trying to just trying to just like pin them down i guess to me they feel like a significantly less quirky version of bad flower like if bad flower just like it got real serious about it all for a little bit Bad Flower definitely jumps to mind. They're the style of sort of like alternative rock band that we generally tend to cover on here. I, I feel like alternative rock has like <laughs> lost all meaning at this point. Um, but something like that or even like uh, nothing more is like, I think the the closest points of comparison for artists that we've talked about prior on this show. Okay. No, I like that. Um yeah, this sort of exceeded all expectations for me. I remember when we checked out the, I think it was Running in Circles and Hurt were released as yeah. dual singles and they sort of had like one long encompassing music video for both of them. It was like fascinating. Like it was injured. Like I sort of liked what was going on. I think the thing that really stood out to me about this band first and foremost was the instrumentals. There's just like, there's something really punchy about it and, and like almost... Sometimes like it gets a little like like the bass gets a little funky in ways and it's like it's really like fun to listen to. Yeah. Like it, it it gives the songs a lot of life, like it makes them really pop. Um but I think it over the course of this album I really came to appreciate um the vocals which I think there's just like a cadence to them that really makes them stand out and also uh makes them feel feel unique and not give me like any immediately like point of comparisons. Um, I, I have one and I'm, I'm curious if you'll agree, but that is definitely something I walked away from this album, learning to grow to love and appreciate the vocals and that style of vocal. Um, when it's all said and done, it does remind me of, uh, Power Royale in a sense. That oh vocalist. I don't pull that whatsoever. Really? Yeah. I, I'll have to go back and listen. And it just feels like, like a track a for track, but I don't think like I get any of that. Raw and like, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I will say that I, I do agree with you that it has a lot of personality. If that's maybe sort of what you're saying for like, it a, might be a that too. Band. Um, and, and that's certainly why I like it. And, and Palo Royale by, by that virtue of comparison, I think, you know, the, the, their vocalist also has a lot of personality yeah, as well. Yeah. So I'll give you that. Um, I don't know that any aspect of this record is um, softer or stronger, but I will say that like my sweet spot is tracks nine, 10 and 11. I think hard to be God, 81 tons and my condition is like 
the 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 for me like the trilogy of just why i think this is like going to be one of the records that i return to most this year um like i have i have i have very strong feelings about this like everything about it just clicked i couldn't wait to go back and listen to it i loved the how the the diversity and like the tracks i love the style of vocals i i thought the instrumentals just like complemented everything perfectly it's just everything about this record was working for me and then when they would do things do things that I felt like we're slightly different. It even continued to work better. So like something like my condition, which just kind of has like a melody that's unlike anything else on this record. I just think it really sort of like continued to exceed expectations in every way imaginable. And then like also l- l- lyrics within like, I believe it's that track. It's like, I don't fuck with God. I choose my own fate. Like, like I am so like dialed in on everything this band is like doing and saying, like, it it just feels like unbeknownst to me, dead poet society was tailor making a record like for myself. I don't know if there's a, a Yonaka feature in there somewhere, but that's also a band that this reminds me of. There is no Yonaka feature in here, but it, it was on a song towards the back half where it felt like there was another vocalist in there. Interesting. And it's a song that specifically reminded me of Yonaka, Interesting. but I couldn't place it. Um, diversity is a big one, especially like just as far as like, man, there's a lot to chew on um, stylistically all over this record. You highlighted a good couple. I mean, Songs like Tipping Point, I Hope You Hate Me, stuck out for me as well, big time. Um, even UTO, like I guess that's my three. Yeah. Those come back to back to back as well. Ultimately, though, it feels like high floor. You know what I mean? Where yeah. it's just like, even the songs on here that I was like least into, like maybe Coet, for example, still weren't even bad songs to me. They were just slightly outshined by some of the other tracks on this yeah. album. And I came to appreciate Running in Circles Hurt a lot more on this record than I did initially when I first heard them as singles. So I think that even like everything in the context of the record works better. And I was reading about like what the what the idea, like the thought process, like the concept behind this was. And it was described as like a, an album that was meant to um, sort of signify how it feels to sort of like live on after all of these things that happen in your life that like are out of your control and how you sort of have to like keep going on as the person that they've made you knowing you can never go back to like who you were cope as best you can. And there's like such poignancy to so much of it. And, and there was another line sort of like describing how like all of these songs were meant to like boil down the experiences of the individuals in a way that anyone could sort of like take them and apply that those, those emotions and feelings to themselves, which, which I think is in our form within it of itself. And then, and we talked about it a little bit last week too, like when artists do that specifically. And, and I think it's something that dead poet society does like phenomenally well. Um, I, again, I just like, I finished this record and I was almost like flabbergasted at how good it was. And, and for me, it just really feel like it's filling a niche because I don't feel like I have a lot of these like, more straight ahead alternative rock bands versus like, you know, all the opposite ends of the spectrum that we have from like, you know, the more pop punk to the significantly heavier death core that we've Mm -hmm. discussed, you know, in the last couple of records, this sort of like fits a slot right in between all of that. And, And I think those bands are sort of like significantly few and further between within like artists that tend to fall into the scene and, and the ones that we talk about on this show. Yeah, well said. Um, I'm relieved to see that you are as big a fan of this band as you are. Why is uh, that? I don't know. I just I'm. I did not expect Dead Poet Society to come out and sweep you off your feet. Yeah, straight this off is the this year. is a massive surprise as far as like the calendar goes. Like this is best case scenario. I go into a record with like a relative idea of what the band sounds like and like generally like tepid expectations like hey let's hope it's good you know what i mean um worst case scenario i remember the singles being decent and then i finish it and i'm just like wow i have undersold my appreciation for this artist significantly singles are better than you remember right man dude running in circles in particular is such a fucking earworm as i sit here this entire review i just 
that line just that running in circles that delivery just goes Mm -hmm. repeated through my mind it's it's good i i think it's a really great record um i'm gonna i'm gonna give this one a light eight okay and i'm gonna go like an 8.5 um, with almost like this cushion that I feel like it can grow over the course of the year, just based on like how badly I already want to go back and listen to it all over again. Good shit. Yeah.